and I am here to make a recap video on the season four premiere of my favorite television show on TV land, Younger, which now I planned on rewatching the episode this morning off iTunes, but the sound did not work, so I'm going to have to make this video totally off of memory from last night. So I apologize if I miss anything, but really my intent of this video is just to get my voice out there on how much I love the show Younger and hopefully to interact with other watchers as well. Okay, so let's get into it. The episode was called Post Truth for obvious reasons because the season picked up right where season three left off, which is where Kelsey found out the truth about Liza's age. So in the beginning of the episode, they're still having that conversation and Kelsey look, looks like she's in so much shock and rightfully so. But it almost looked like she was gonna be accepting of it. Obviously, she's not terribly mad, just mostly shocked. Then we found her escaping from the room and leaving out of nowhere the next morning. So that was kind of hard to see. Kelsey, I think that's a sign that Kelsey was really heartbroken and she was just mainly in shock in the beginning, which makes perfect sense. Then it seems like things are a little better once they get to the office because during that first meeting, Liza almost had a moment where she was going to reveal her age to the entire team at Empirical, but then Kelsey was... <laughs> such a brave girl and stood up and prevented Liza from doing so. Which by the way, I am not sure if anyone else did this, but I was like screaming at my television telling Liza, no, don't reveal your age just yet. <laughs> One person at a time to learn the new secret, please. But I thought that was really nice of Kelsey. So it showed that she was still willing to be a friend, willing to work through it, and still cares for Liza. However, I'm jumping the gun here. Towards the end of the episode, Kelsey makes a statement saying that her getting along with Liza and helping her out in the party is strictly business. <laughs> what the heck? No, I really, I really wanted Kelsey to be okay with Liza's truth and really be there for her. But it's not the worst thing ever that could happen, at least She's trying to help out Liza. I thought it was really cute when she and Lauren were coming up with a plan to build Liza's social media presence because she didn't have one because she had paid someone back in season one to wipe her off of the internet, which I'm not sure is entirely possible, but let's pretend it is in the younger world. Well, I thought that was really nice. I think Lauren's been really sweet about it as well. Let's see, other things that happened in the first episode. Oh, Kelsey and Josh. Whoa. First of all, what are the chances of Kelsey and Josh randomly running into each other at a bar in New York City? Crazy, but when that happens, of course they're going to sit down, have some drinks, and discuss Liza. I thought it was funny how Kelsey was like, I know everything, Josh, and I mean everything and I think I think that's kind of like their shared secret because when you're with a friend and you have something so private that's just between you two you create a special bond and that's what Kelsey and Josh have however I think there's a good chance that they will be romantically involved later on this season which I do not want to happen no I think Kelsey and Josh would make great friends but they are now going to be roommates which we find out at the end of the episode Kelsey ends up taking the cab to Josh's apartment which by the way Lauren is such a sneaky snake but I love her for it for using an app <laughs> to track where Kelsey's uber takes her because they didn't know where she was staying because Kelsey was being private about that obviously kind of in a difficult place right now because we have to remember that a week-ish ago in the episode, 
Hillary Duff's character, Kelsey, was kicked out of Lauren's parents' house and needed to find a place to stay ASAP. And I'm totally glad she didn't go with that creepy, <laughs> creepy female roommate or creepy female um, character on the show that was showing her that apartment where they would share a bed. <laughs> Funny scene, but <laughs> I realistically would not do that. And then, let's see, another plot line to the episode last night. Oh, Charles and Liza. Yes. So when Hilary Duff's character, Kelsey, covered for Liza before she revealed her age, she actually said that Liza's big secret was that she's not marrying Josh and that they had broken up. And then Charles afterwards went up to Liza like, later in the episode and wanted to make sure that the breakup wasn't because of Charles coming on strongly to her in the previous episode. Now here's something that has changed about me. I think since Thad slash Chad is no longer in the picture, which by the way, Dan M. Boyer was hands down my favorite male character of Younger, and I, upset, I am upset that he did not get a bigger role or that his role is not continued. Just wanted to say that. So Dan and Boyer, Thad Chad, was my favorite male character on the show. Now that he's gone, I think I am Team Charles. Before, I was just very neutral. Like, really, Josh, Charles, they're both attractive men. Josh is a lot younger. Charles is older, sophisticated. Very different, but let's be honest. Neither or neither of those men are a bad choice for Liza or a horrible choice, I should say. But I am definitely Team Charles. I think there's a special connection when the two of them are together. They're they very they relate with each other very much. Their interests align so well. I thought it was really adorable when they were talking about Hemingway this episode and they went inside that museum. Was it a museum or an auction event? something along those lines but I just think there's a lot that Liza and Char Charles can work off of whereas with Liza and Josh it seems like they're constantly running into obstacles or the same obstacle which is the lie or age last season we saw them overcoming that but I feel like that bump in the relationship goes away and comes back so that makes it very difficult so Hashtag Team Charles, which by the way, don't come after me if you are Team Josh. I think that's perfectly okay. Team Josh is a very attractive man. What else about last night's episode? It's so weird because the episodes are only half an hour long and they cover so much. It goes by like that and I am on my phone live tweeting like a crazy person and I just... I don't know how it's done. <laughs> the show really needs to be an hour long. Like, what will it take for TV Land to grant Younger to have one hour episodes? Season five? Anybody? 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 Come on. <sighs> oh, well. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching my video. I will be back next week, hopefully more prepared <laughs> with more stuff to talk about. But overall, I am just so excited that Younger is back and it is here to make my summer amazing and oh I will be live tweeting every week as always. If you don't know what my Twitter handle is, it is Justin Lambchop in case you wanted to follow me there. However, I will give a disclaimer that is just my generic Twitter profile. I tweet about lots of things, not just younger. I'm also I also have a few other obsessions that I tweet about as well. So just keep that in mind and with that said, I will be back next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.